Hi, welcome to excelrush.com. Today we are going to learn the top most 18 shortcuts in Excel based on my experience, whatever I've done in Excel till now. So this is the data set that we are going to use. Let's start learning. So if I press Shift F11, boom, it inserts a new sheet in my data. If I press Shift F11 one more time, boom, it inserts a new sheet in my data. The second shortcut that we are going to learn is to go from one sheet to another. So if I am on this sheet and I want to go to the next sheet, I can press Control Page Down. Control Page Down that goes to the next sheet and Control Page Up goes to the previous sheet. As simple as that. For the third shortcut, I'm going to keep my cursor on cell A1 and press Control and Down Arrow. It goes to the point where the next cell is blank. So if I had a blank out here and if I go up and control down, it stops there. It goes to the next cell until there is a blank. So it goes to a point where there is a blank after that. Same applies for control right, control down, control left and control up as well. So if I'm here, it stops here because that's where your data starts and control up. Now, I'm again back on A1. If I press Control Shift and down arrow, again it goes to a point where the next cell is blank, but also selects everything on its way. Same applies for Control Shift right. If I'm here, Control Shift left. And if I'm here, Control Shift up, the same applies for that as well. We are now going to learn how to format cells. So if I select, this much data that is control shift down I did and then I press control one the format cells opens up easily the box of format cells open up then I can easily go to the number format and do whatever I need to and boom my formatting is applied so control one opens the format cells box if you have a date column like this you select the date and you can directly press Control Shift 3 and the formatting gets changed to give you the month in a spelling. So earlier it was like this. If I press Control Shift 3, the month becomes in a spelling. So Control Shift 3 does that very easily. This is a simple shortcut. You can press Control A anytime to select your full data set. This is because my cursor was inside the data. So if I press Control A one more time, it selects the entire sheet. But if my cursor was somewhere outside and I pressed Control A, it would select the entire sheet anyways. Now we will learn how to select an entire column. So you can keep your cursor anywhere and press Control and space bar that selects the entire column end to end. But if I press Shift and space bar that selects that particular row end to end. Now I want to insert a column very easily. So first I'm going to go ahead and select the gender column using Control space and then press Control Shift equal to or Control plus. Boom, and it inserts a column just before the one that I selected. Suppose you want to delete a column. Let's say I don't want the qualification column anymore. I can select the column control space and press control minus to delete the column. Same applies for even rows. Now that you have an empty column, let's add some data in this. So let's say we want to add the joining date. Now the joining date is supposed to be today's date. To get today's date very easily, I can press control semicolon and boom, it gives me today's date. And I can always control and drag it or simply copy paste. If I control and drag it, it gets the same date everywhere. So these are the employees that have joined today. And of course, control shift three will give me this format that we already have. So control semicolon was to insert today's date very easily. 
Now let's apply borders. So I'm going to press Ctrl A and then Alt, leave Alt, H, B, A, Alt, H, B, A to get all borders. If I don't want the borders, I can press Alt, H, B, N. That will remove the borders. Now let us turn on the filter. Control Shift L brings up the filters very easily. Control Shift L. If you want to operate the filters without the mouse, you can go to that cell and press Alt and down arrow and that will bring up that drop down of the filter very easily. Then you can use space bar and then press enter and it works. Alt and down arrow opens the drop down very easily. Now let us learn to sort the data. So if I want to sort the data by the fixed income column, lowest income going first and the highest income going last. So I'm going to keep my cursor anywhere in this column and press Alt A S A, Alt A S A. And that does the ordering in the ascending order. If I press Alt A S D, it does in the descending order. That simple. You can apply the same on any text based column as well. That was Alt A S A and A S D. But if you don't want to do the ascending or descending, rather you want to open this sort box. You want to open this sort box. The shortcut for that is Alt A S S double S and that opens the sort box very easily. Now you want to use Control F to find something. So let's say we find the word single. It will bring our cursor there automatically. But if we want to replace something, I can press Control H and I can say find a single and replace it with unmarried. And I can click on replace all and boom, it replaces the single with unmarried. So Control F was for find, Control H was for replace. Now let's say I want to copy this variable column data, control C to copy and paste it here. If I try doing that, it gives me zeros. Why? Because there was a formula here. So I wanted to paste as values. So I'm going to go ahead and select this control space, control C, go wherever I need to paste it. Suppose I need to paste it here. Now instead of control V, I'm going to press control Alt V and this box opens up for paste special. Then I can choose values and press enter and boom, it pastes as values. So control alt V. Let's say you want to write the DATE in the next line. So I'm going to delete this space and press alt enter and it goes into the next line in the same cell. I can do the same thing for marital status as well. Alt enter. Next line, same cell. I want to give some different coloring to my header. So I go into the home tab and I give it a red color. Now the same thing I want to do to the marital status also. I can directly press F4, boom. It repeats the last action. I go here F4, repeats the last action. Same way, suppose if I insert a column control plus, now, if I directly press F4, it repeats the last action. So according to me, these were the top 18 most useful Excel shortcuts. I hope you like them. If you really find them useful, please comment below, hit a like button and definitely subscribe to the channel to a lot of more tips and tricks like this. See you all in the next video.